Hey y'all, today I'm out here and I wanted to show you around, show you some of the progress that I have made this year on this new garden, show you the progress or lack of progress on the bark scale on the crepe myrtles, show you a few other things and tell you about some of the future plans. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what's going on. Confederate rose hibiscus, some more blooms have opened. It's beautiful as always. This blue potato bush is out of control again. I've trimmed this thing three times by at least a foot this year, and it just wants to keep growing and growing. I don't want it to grow out. I have yeah, a pallet that I need to get out of the way. It's another project. Project's everywhere right now. The pond we put in is still doing well. Still clear. Still see the fish swimming around in there. Although they hide when they see me coming. Need to get some of the leaves out that have fallen from the tree above it. My neighbor's tree is dropping something black all over my elephant ears. Some of them, as you can tell, have a black substance on them. It's even on these Ruralia leaves. It looks like the same stuff from the bark scale, like the black sooty mold that gets on the crepe myrtles. I don't know. The cannas that I planted along the fence here are doing great. Climbing rose I transplanted to grow over this arbor that we did. It's coming back after I cut it all back. So next spring it should look beautiful again. I have what looks like a war went on in my front yard with the crepe myrtles. I cut them all back to try to get control of the bark scale. And now I need to burn all of this that's laying in my yard which will be done this week here's some more cannas that i had planted this year just doing really good i need to define where my flower beds are cut a clear line so that the grass will stop growing in like it's doing get more mulch down and get all the weeds pulled up one of the plans in the next couple of weeks is to pull this side in because it's a little too far out pull this side in finish getting the side gate panel here and a panel there on this side and then I'm going to make a path through here that will lead out to about where that pile of leaves is that I have there. Yes, I know I, my yard needs to be mowed and weed eaten. I told him not to come this week. So the path will kind of meander up to here. And then I'm going to have another Confederate rose like that one. Because I want more of those in my yard. However, they only bloom in the fall, so for the rest of the year it's nothing but leaves. So I'll have more color than just the Confederate Rose. At least one of these hydrangea are going to be moved this week. They did fine back here until... What on earth is that? Until the air conditioner was moved. The window unit that used to be there. And we had central put in which is this pretty new unit. So, this froze this last year in our snowmageddon, but one of them is about to be moved to its new location. I'm hoping to not have to cut it back, but 
If this one survives the move, then that one's going to get moved too. These petunias, bonfire petunias, need some water. But they're still looking pretty. And here is the start of another sidewalk and some other projects. I have a bunch of this rock that was given to me. This isn't even the, the, the start of it. I just brought this little bit home, but there's a whole bunch that was given to me that I need to pick up from my mom's house, and I'm gonna be making some sidewalks with it. Here's a closer view of my poor crepe myrtle. A pumpkin fell over this week. And I will pick that up when I clean up the crepe myrtle mess. They're all massacred. This was the first one I did to get rid of the bark scale. As you can see, it's already getting new growth on it, but I still, still need to battle this bark scale. So, anyway. My gardenias are doing okay, considering the lawn guy mowed them down, mowed one of them down. It's coming back. And the Ru Ruelia, and the Ruelia, Ruelia, I can't say that word for some reason. It always just does its thing. of what I've done and need to get done. I really need to tackle my neighbor's trumpet vine, but it's my least favorite thing to do. And I decided instead of rebuilding my fire pit over here, I ordered a fire pit from Home Depot. And it should be here on Thursday so we can have our little s'more evenings with the granddaughter. So that's what I've got on the agenda this week. Hopefully I'll get at least half of my planned things done. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you back in a couple of days.